Hello guys, welcome to Oliver the Mechanic. And today's episode, we have some uh, scan tools episode for today. Uh, we need to uh, replace the rear brake pads of a Subaru. This one is Subaru. And uh, we're gonna, because this one is electronic parking brake. You see this one? Uh, we're gonna, uh, what you call this one? We're gonna press the piston to replace the rear brake pads by using scan tools. And yeah, we'll try this one. Hopefully my scan tool can, will work. This one's the auto scan tools. And we go to service and we're gonna go to electronic parking brake. And we'll search for Subaru. Break maintenance mode. We'll see this one. Other issues such as eyesight may set the DTC with brake maintenance mode is activated. Ensure to clear the DTC. Use this mode when you check replace repair brake pads, this rotor caliper, lift up vehicles and make sure. Lift up the vehicle and make sure the engine is stopped when starting. Then press OK except by pressing cancel. Start brake electronic Electronic parking brake work automatically during process. Ensure that electronic parking brake is not applied and not brake and no brake work is in process. Yeah, there you go. Sounds. Yep. That's it. Brake maintenance mode was started. During this maintenance, the remaining switch is disabled in addition to brake warning lights, the DTC. We have DTC, but we're going to erase it later. So, yeah. That's how you do it. You hear the noise. It's already pressed there. I will check, at, at, I will check it later at the back. But we will come back later. And then we will... Uh, I said that if we already finish replacing the brake pads, we're going to press a couple times on the brake pedal. And then when we re press a couple of times, we will uh, erase that code DTCC19984 because it's stored. Okay, we'll replace the brake pads now. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go here, brake maintenance mode. Okay. Okay, I already removed the brake pads here, but before you're going to remove the brake pads here, double, I will show you again that you're going to uh, remove the reservoir cup here, so it will release the pressure. Remove the reservoir cup there first before anything else. Uh, and then uh, you can remove the brake pads already. Uh, I removed the brake pads here already, the rear brake pads. And it's easy. It's just only removing this clip here. And removing the Allen here at the back. This one is an Allen one. Allen tools, uh, seven. This one. Yeah, it's seven Allen. So you can remove that one here, and you can remove the clip. And you can remove remove the brake pads already. See the brake pads is quite thin already. And now you can press this one already, like a normal caliper press, because it's already pressed all the way, because we use a scan tools. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that one now. Okay, it's already pressed the piston. So yeah, we can put the new brake pads. And yeah, that's how we use the scan tools to depress this one. So you will not uh, remove the motor here and some stuff. That's the use of the scan tools. It's quite easy if you have some scan tools. So yeah, it's a matter of putting a new brake pads. I have no brake pads here. It's not yet arrived, so yeah. It's easy, it's just putting back all together.
works. And yeah, I think that's it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching again. And see you on the next video. Oliver, signing out. Sa Diyos na lahat ng Kapurian.